In Night City, if you cross paths with the wrong people, you're liable to vanish without a trace. Our objective today is to find someone who's seemingly vanished, Evelyn Parker. But before that, I've got two words for you. Iconic weapons. I'm seeking out a few of these special items before introducing myself to the most famous fixer in Night City, Rogue. Welcome back, everyone, to Cyberpunk. Where we last left off, I wanted to talk to Rogue meet her for the first time and I do plan on doing that tonight but one of the things that I wanted to do before then was just pick up a couple legendary weapons or iconic weapons as I think they're actually called in this game so the first one I'm just going to pick up a quest probably I don't know if I should go and do the quest and then the other one I am going to go back to Jackie's mom's bar and pick up his weapons for us. So I should also cue you in just on what has happened since we last met on Monday. Not a lot, but I have been going around the world and just playing like these NCPD scanner missions, like just walking around and trying to get some different weapons and things, upgrade my stuff, level up a little bit, practice shooting people. Circus, you say the shotgun you have is quite good. Yes, I'm loving this shotgun. I recently got a different shotgun that was more damaged, but I don't, I didn't like it at all. So we're back to this one. So I've just gotten some new clothing pieces. Um, I don't have too much in my inventory. I'm trying to keep the weight pretty low here. I haven't gotten any new cyberware or anything. I think the skirt is new. These shoes are new. Yeah, right now I, I have it set up. I like this weapons pairing the best so far. Shotgun for close range. The handgun for, ooh, a power revolver. I'm not sure you would call that a handgun. <laughs> okay. Get it right. Uh, the power revolver for mid-range. And then I got a sniper rifle. And so now we're really cooking with gas here. <laughs> I think I filled you guys in on everything that I've done, at least, since we last it met. Itches. Should it itch? Why yes, do I feel see if anything? I can talk to this person? It, it is nothing, but I'm feeling metal. Calm down. A monk with implants? <sighs> Are you, uh, Forget your own. are you okay? Don't you take a vow against? Of course Oops. we do. You think I did this to myself? I apologize. I cannot bow in greeting. I am still adjusting to my situation. Hold on. Somebody forced you? Not just me. My brother, too. They drugged us. Desecrated my body. Whoa. And all the while, they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? That is super fucked. Makes no sense. Who'd go and do something like this and why? We were out begging for alms when, when they approached us. They laughed at us and asked if we would take implants as a donation. They looked... More machine than human. They told us they would improve us like tools. Maelstrom. How about your brother? He's still with them? Yes. I was first. Then they were trying to decide how... how to modify him. You look like someone who can reason with these people. Me? I beg you, please, help my brother. I only hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like... like I have. Oh no. Okay, I was trying to think of what his options are at this point. Like, does he just get his arm completely amputated if it can't go back to normal? Baseline human? But that seems just as bad. Okay, I think... I am not going to say what it's what is in it for me. That seems rather rude. I'm here to help. Fine, I'll help. But just so you know, things might get ugly. Maelstrom doesn't mess around. There must be some other way. 
Help us, please. But without any bloodshed, I beg you. I'll see what, what I can do. Either way, your brother's getting out. I do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. How poetic. <gasps> oh, a my... monk in distress. They should include this in your epic. I don't know how about you write a Cross song about it. Meditate till they Little drop song dead. boy. Wish you'd drop dead. Oh. Oh! You didn't see that, right? Sorry, B. Okay. <laughs> well. Oh. Let's get my bike. And... Or maybe there's a fast travel location nearby? I need to select a different job here. Losing my religion. Save the monk. All right. This monk told us that he would like us to not use bloodshed. I'm hoping that means that we can reason with the people rather than having to use non-lethal weapons. <laughs> I mean, I think I could just off them. That would be fine too. Okay, so if I wanted to make my weapons non-lethal... Okay, well, I can't do that one because it doesn't have any mod slots. Okay, this renders your weapon non-lethal, allowing you to dam damage enemies without killing them. Let's apply that to this. And then, do I have any mod slots here? Okay, so we can only use this. The Overture. Okay, that scratch, he it did it to itself, okay? You can't be mad at me about that one. Now then, this isn't even what I want to do. <laughs> I wanted to... Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, losing my religion. Save the monk. They're very close by, apparently. So, sure, I'll drive there. I'm sure that'll work out just fine. Fucking <laughs> What? I'm rude? You're rude. <laughs> okay. Hit. Hit. Okay, I need to get springy legs. Let's crouch. Watch out! Oh Watch shit, out. I thought I could jump over there. Chums, chums, listen. What if instead of an arm? Whoa! Snap! I should have been looking at the mini map. Oh crap! Okay. Fuck! Oh no! Oh no! Slice and dice! Slice and dice! Open your shift position. Oh, so this is where they're keeping our fellow brother. Oh. Damn! What's your language? This is not a good hiding spot. Ah! Up, leech. Oh! Okay, no one else. I really need to pay closer attention to the mini map. But are you dead? I thought that I was non-lethal now, but maybe headshots are still lethal? Well, I guess we'll find out if I get penalized for killing them. Usually I like to pick up the bodies too and find a garbage <laughs> to increase my ninjutsu. Uh, can I use this for anything? Okay, just, <laughs> just porn advertisements, cool. Uh, circus, you say they're alive. Keep going. Okay, they look heckin' dead. Do not do this. Invocations <gasps> against my beliefs. Please, I do not want them. Oh, okay. Cool. Should I put my gun away right now? 
I'm tempted to put my gun away, but I'm scared that someone's going to sneak up on us. Let's say it's okay, you're safe. Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So, what are you doing here? What happened? I first want to make sure you're okay. Glad I got here in time. Are you okay? Did they do anything to you? I was lucky. They could not decide which implant would be funnier. Eh? Cyber psychos. Gross. Weird. A lot of them. One, one of them wanted to remove my jaw. The thought itself gave me shivers. Oh. Thankfully, did not get the chance. To what do I owe this intervention of yours? Uh. Was walking by and caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. Now, but the truths that your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. From the bottom of my soul, thank you. I'm especially grateful nobody was killed. May you continue on the path of peace. Okay. What compels these monsters is of no consequence. It's not up to us to judge what they deserve. That's very generous of him to say. Also, something else that I thought of is I just assumed that they were related, but brother could be a religious term. How'd you even get taken by Maelstrom? Most people avoid him like the plague. We are here as strangers. We wander from place to place. When we arrived in Nice City, we had no time to identify its dangers. Don't monks live in monasteries? It used to be, they did not. My brother and I belong to a group that follows the earliest Buddhist teachings. It is an interesting life. We have met many unusual people. So I see. There's no need for sarcasm. We know the world is dangerous. But if one takes no risks, one will never know what lies beyond the front door. I'm sure you understand. I do. Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First, I must catch my breath, and then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. Look who's taken the righteous path. If you're so afraid of killing, maybe you should have become a monk instead of a merc. Killing isn't the solution to everything. If you want to change the world, there's always a price to be paid. As for these chrome fucks, you think they got all this gear by sitting around going, um... If they had enough to spare on monks... And surely they don't need all of it. Oh, okay. We're saying that we can take stuff? Um, Fenrir. Uh, let me look at that. Right, okay. So Fenrir is an iconic weapon. And this is why I wanted to do the mission to begin with. Deals thermal damage with an increased chance to apply burn, reduces the bullet spread, and increases bullet impact on the cost of higher recoil. And it has three mod slots, some cool stats on thermal damage, plus two crit chance, or percent crit chance, and plus 13% burn chance, 100% headshot damage multiplier. Okay, let's get back to looting now that we have that. I guess we could just... Oops, I guess we could just try it out sometime, um, even if it's not fully upgraded. That I'm sure that wouldn't hurt a dang thing. Something else I learned is that I missed a legendary or iconic weapon during our escape from Konpeki Plaza. That I could have gone up to the roof, apparently, killed some people, taken a samurai sword from a helicopter, from their helicopter, and gone on my merry way. I have no idea how, I, I can't remember the path to get up there, but I'm really bummed that I missed that. Tinnitus music? I'm not sure what that, what tinnitus is, but review and attempt. Right, so I've never had a problem like this before. I learned members of the Maelstrom gang perceived the music from their fave band Tinnitus differently than the average listener. Those crazy uber-chromed motherfuckers describe these quote-unquote tunes with terms like, quote, complexity, range, and depth of sound. 
<laughs> Those aren't quite the words I would use. Music can contain noise, but in this case, the noise does not contain music. I don't know. That's the best I can describe it. Now I've got two leading theories on this. Theory one, since tinnitus only plays at the totentance, the acoustics could be the cause problem. Maelstrom's a group of hyper-violent psycho scumbags. I'm not going to rust my good rep by jamming out at one of their live shows. How can I confirm my theory if I don't check it out firsthand? Theory two, hallucinatory agents. Maybe. Tinnitus has its own homebrew chemical cocktail designed to pair with their music for some whole quote-unquote experience? To be honest, I don't think I want to find out, because if number two is true, then I'll be risking a drug-induced nervous system meltdown for the sake of music science journalism. <laughs> that really worth it, Jooms? Jesus, guys, music doesn't need to be this complicated. It ain't rocket science. Let me take a look around and see if we can loot anything else before moving on to our next initiative. Understanding your teen. <laughs> Oh God, do I want to read this? <laughs> okay, because I do have plans to go see Rogue tonight, but I'm just picking up some iconic collectible weapons before we dive into that because I noticed that I wasn't sure how to get weapons into like the display case on my uh, at my apartment. And turns out those need to be special weapons. So I'm gonna try and collect those as we go and maybe show some of that on stream. I know some of it's related to different quests too, but we're gonna try and do them together a little bit. Okay, understanding your teen. The teenage years are truly the most difficult period in a person's life. Not only is it time for enormous hormonal changes to the brain, but also a time of searching for one's own identity. The teen starts to seek authority figures outside the family, mostly often among their peers, but also among celebrities, rocker boys, and even fixers or mercenaries. To become an authority figure to teens, all you really need to do is have a unique style. Maybe throw in a few nice phrases criticizing the system. And most importantly, convince the teenager that you, and only you, understand. Wow, how insightful. Okay, caught in the maelstrom. Uh, that didn't really give us any lore information about the... The game it was just kind of interesting, I guess. It's kind of satire of teen life. And oh, didn't you say how to make a cult? Yeah, that's like what it should have been called. I thought it was going to be like, I don't know, one of those pamphlets on like growing up or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, caught in the maelstrom. I stood in the middle of Toten Tants, my knuckles white, tightly gripped on my, oh, on Achilles M179E rifle. It was shoved into my hands just seconds before the attack. My face, arms, and sin leather jacket soaked in the blood and brain matter of the psycho I had just shot. By contact, a 30-year-old maelstrom with a green mohawk patted me on the shoulder. Man, Phil, you ain't half shit, he tells me appreciatively. Took you for a pussy bitch. <laughs> I gotta admit, you got some steel clad balls after all. And don't worry about that sad scrap heap. If there ain't at least 20 bodies, you can't call it a maelstrom party. What? I'm turning it to grandma now. <laughs> get rooted in maelstrom party. What had already been an unsettling experience took a turn to a whole other level. That was a weird sentence, but I'm gonna try and push through. <laughs> The other maelstroms continued to mock me, but I could detect a tone of approval through their vocal distortion. My mohawked contact even proposed that they install in me one of their distinct rudimentary implants. Fortunately, they didn't have in mind their iconic optic suite, so I accepted. My popularity continued to grow. No way you'd get into the maelstrom mug so easy, he laughed. That tech's only for an initiates. We pluck out their eyes and peel back the skin. No anesthetic. You survive. You're in. Holy shit. With the atmosphere now more relaxed, I asked if the rumors had been true. 
Do they accept contract killings? My Mohawk source nodded with enthusiasm. Oh, frick yeah. We make good scratch, and it's a great morale booster. You know, machines aren't bothered with a mess of feelings, and that's what we aim for. Doing hit jobs like that helps us gouge out all the gooey emotions we still got left. <laughs> Recently, this one guy got all whiny and snot-nosed just because we roasted some kid. Okay, that makes it sound like they called his mom a bitch or something, but I think that maybe they could mean that they literally roasted him, like over a spitfire. I told him, I said, dude, you better relieve some su suppressor BD and fast or boss man's gonna blow your head off. The gong should have freaking listened. As I listen to this explanations and anecdotes, I realize that amusement clearly must not be one of the blacklisted emotions. Yeah, <laughs> you can find joy in all the murder and mayhem, I guess. And then I couldn't help but wonder, are machines capable of laughter? That could almost be a band name. Let's turn this camera off just for the smidgen of XP that we get. And now I'm going to go pick up some, another iconic weapon from Jackie, from Jackie's shrine. <laughs> I feel like a real dirt bag doing that, but okay, let's go here. And then if I can remember where, Ooh, snap-a-doodle. <laughs> okay. Oh, shoot. Did I get on the wrong exit? Now I can't. Oh, man, it's all the way down there. I'm not going to be able to get to it, I guess. Guess we'll have to drive. The coyote. Hey, you. Sitting in the wrong spot. Uh, this, this isn't a bar? It is, but it's our bar. Get up. Oh, shit. Let's take a walk. Hey, leave him alone, cabrones. Yeah, cabron. Hey, hey got back these assholes how to hey, behave in my bar. Here. Okay. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. Who? Chum, cough, or I implant my blade in your ribs. Oh, crap. I can't fist fight him. Uh... Go ahead, make my day. Gunk, come on. Let's see what you got. Well, just got real fucking interesting. What? Am I? What? Wait, I'm dying. What the heck? Why? <laughs> God dang it. What the heck? Should I knife him instead? Am I allowed to do that? Cause I'm not, I can't like fist fight. I don't have any body. I, I don't think I can hey, use a knife. I couldn't pull any weapons spot. out. I don't think. Uh, um, this, this isn't a bar? It is. I'm just gonna but it's our bar. get the get weapons. Let's take a walk. <laughs> hey, leave him alone, cabrones. Sorry, I tried. V, hey, back off. Oh, hey, I, I said sorry. I don't have gorilla arms yet. Maybe I could um, get that? Oh, gorilla arms is maybe not a perk. Maybe it's something that I can get an implant for. M maybe that. Oh, wait, did we level up? We just have perk points. I'm, I know I have perk points available. I'm not, I don't know what to put them in yet. I'm not high enough level that I like anything in my skill trees, so that's, I'm not gonna do it yet. <laughs> I hope that's acceptable. La Chingona Dorada. Oh, they're both the same thing. Uh, this one's, and I think they have the same stats. Oh, this one has negative percent bonus to ricochet, and this one doesn't. It has a crit chance instead. Okay, they both have burn chances and thermal damage. And headshot damage is, ooh, 150. That's pretty nice. 
Okay, I'm gonna disassemble these lower level guns and then we'll sell some of the stuff when we get a chance. The last iconic weapon that I wanted to get today before we go out and see Rogue is where we were zeroed or dropped for dead uh, by Dex out in the dump. And I think, I'm pretty sure that it's this, maybe? I think so. So, wait, can I track a waypoint to here or can I not get back out here? Okay, I think it's just taking me the wrong way because it's a smart, it's very intelligent. The map system here is, works all the time. And Jackie's bike. Oh, can I fast travel out there actually? Where's the nearest fast travel point out in the boondocks? Okay, I haven't really been out there before. So I guess we will have to drive. This is perfect. A very harrowing experience is about to occur. Please strap your butts into the seats. Huh? Since we're gonna work together, only right to say hello. They call oh. me El Capitan, and they call you V. See, no introductions necessary. Already took care of them. Someone oh. comes to me with biz, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe biz. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, you need fresh wheels, bikes. Oops. I got it all. Oopsie doopsie. Real good prices. So hit what? Me up anytime, you hear? A police warrant for driving? Oh, great. Now I'm in combat. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Am I actually wanted? Oh, God. This sucks. What do I do if I'm wanted by the police? Is there a male? Station, I can. Can I go to the post office and pay off my bounty? Do post office even exist here, or is everything. There are no more public services, only corporations that need to be profitable to function. Uh, if you drive far enough away, it'll disappear. Okay, cool. We're definitely driving far away. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going down the wrong side of the street. Oh, a blimp! Oh, that's so cool. I've never seen a blimp, or I haven't seen a blimp yet in this game. Okay, now where am I still going the right way? Entering Rancho Cornando? I'm sure I said that wrong. It's hard to read and drive. It's like texting and driving. Uh, circus to say everything is online. Oh yeah, that's right. I suppose I don't need to go to a post office to pay my bounty. I could probably just like stamps.com. Oh shit, tell me. <laughs> I don't want to answer this. Oh, I tried to answer it. Oh shit, I hit F instead of T. Um, one of my vehicles is missing. You know what else I haven't done in a while is read my messages. I should probably do that. Oops, I gotta make this turn here. Wow, we are way in the boondocks now. Dakota Smith? Dakota Smith? Oh. If you're looking for jobs out here, you will find them with me. Name's V. Thanks for the intel. Things Ooh, flow differently out a nice here. older lady Keep your head again. On, city kid. Okay. So I feel oddly safe in this giant trash heap, even though I'm probably getting cancer as we stand here and breathe in the air. Old Dex. Good to see you, friend. You looking good. Have you lost weight? Okay, new item received. Let me take a look at what that looks like. Plan B? <gasps> oh. Bullets have a higher chance to apply bleeding, but keep an eye on your wallet. Every shot costs you eddies? What the hell? I assumed that this weapon would be gold-plated because it belongs to Dex. Belonged to Dex. Rest in hell. But the fact that it burns money is like even more of a flex. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna see if I have... I don't think I got any uh, new... 
Let me just look at my backpack. Okay, yeah, no new clothing. I was looking if I could offload something because we're about a quarter of our inventory full. Fuel my fire. Interesting. Anything else out here that we would want to investigate? If there was like a little shimmer of something up there, I would try endlessly to make it up to the top of the garbage heap. Okay, let's open this. Is it... <gasps> Holy shit. Okay, he's dead though. Ooh, that's fucked up. I thought I was going to find Billy the kid. <laughs> like from Fallout 4. But now I think I'm going to go play a main mission here. Want to track down Hellman? Start at the afterlife. Let's do that one. Entering new area. Afterlife. Oh. Well, what now? What was that? Call for backup. Crack some heads open. Drag the bodies inside. I told you, dog. Afterlife's all about breath. The respect you command. Oh, this is an That's elevator. No thing here. Let's talk us. to Emmerich. Tough cookies and move uh, hey. Hey. In you go. Oh, okay. I wasn't, I'm not sure if we know Emmerich. I know we've been here before, so maybe he recognizes us. Or his scanners recognize us. Hang on just a little longer, Chum. Ripper's on the way. Whoa, Fuck. what the hell? Oh, rot of luck. Why aren't we at the hospital? Might not come after us yet. Whoa, this is pretty uh, effed. Fuck. Say something, Shan. Anything. What do you mean you're not coming? You're coming, dog. You'll be here in five minutes flat or... Fuck! Who is Lizzie Wizzy pretending to be? We are who we pretend to be. I've pretended to be everything. That's why I've found the truth. Lizzie Wizzy is an artist par excellence. Her work includes award-winning albums and concert tours. Okay, so another musician. I thought maybe that is who the bar is named after, but I think that has totally different lore to it. Second-rate equipment under trained medical professionals and high-tech uh, recent cuts in municipal health care spending. Oh, this used to be a morgue. That's right. I can check again. Oh, I can talk to him. Ah, you want to have a good time? Okay, I was trying to... Want to hear a joke? What the heck? Okay, you guys are calling me out for this NPC being on the table and being callous reading a book. These people are like, hey, wanna. Honey, you gotta tell me how you got these. Well, like, I wanted to know if I wanted to hear a joke. Okay. Um, we don't need to explore right now. Let's just talk to Rogue. Anything? Oh. Just kidding. She's someone I can talk to, so. Ooh, I wanna memorialize a friend. Chuma mine earned a spot on the menu here. A chulo bowl with the bun? Yeah, I'm sorry to hear. Remember his drink? The recipe? Vodka on the rocks, lime juice, and ginger beer. And a splash of love. love. That's right. In the drink's name. A Jackie Wells. Right. Well, the first Jackie Wells is on me. There's no way that this is really going on some sort of menu, is it? I mean, there's another guy dying right over there. Their menu would be like... Uh, I don't know. You could write names probably on every inch of this wall. Which sucks. It's sad. But I think that's the reality here. I didn't really notice the details of the... I don't, I don't know what you call those. Storage units for the bodies? Corpse containers? How's the afterlife? Working here, I mean. No real complaints. Fights are rare, and when they do happen, they're over quick. Killer clientele, am I right? Your words, not mine. Mm, how's business? Business booming, I hope. Seen it yourself. Can't complain. Folks always get thirsty, and we're here when they do. Thank you. Thanks, Claire. No problem. Just holler if you need anything. That's crazy that Jackie is 
The fact that he was so reverent about this place and about the famous people who came here before him, his enthusiasm is heartbreaking. No, this trouble, the net around me, you wove it. You Can I go in? It. I lost everything. Huh. Let me be you. plain again. Solve your own problems. Clean up you your own what, shit. Rob? Go fuck yourself. Be careful who you bargain with. Oh, should I talk to her first? Ow. What the f um. Hey, interested in some work? What the hell? Get you anything? Who can I talk with this person? Hey, shit. Uh, okay. That's fine. There's oh, someone over here. What's this about? Maybe this is the dialogue option that I saw. Doing what? A business opportunity. Cargo transport. Get from A to B, quick and quiet. Interested? Oh. I think this is also a mission where you get an iconic weapon. You ought to run this by a fixer first. Fuck the middleman. They're cash drained. Attitude like that won't get you far in this line of work. I don't need a consultant. I need a transporter. Will you do it or not? Yes. I'm listening. It's simple. You go to the Kabuki waterfront, collect the package, give me a call, then I tell you how to deliver it. Very straightforward. Mm -hmm. Everything except my pay. Don't worry. There's a bonus in it for you. Imported and duty-free. Duty-free and detail-free. Yes, but altogether fair. It's a simple job, generously compensated. Do you accept? Sure. Yeah, sure, I'm in. Good, I knew we'd find acceptable terms. Head to the Kabuki waterfront, then search for a fridge with the words, no future. Oh my gosh. Once you locate it, collect what you find inside, then call me for further instructions. We just had a harrowing mm -hmm. experience with the fridge then, I guess. that we found. Okay. Okay, can we talk? Rogue, wanted to talk. It's okay. Hmm. I wonder if she knows me already. Hmm. Not here, not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Oh, I didn't Fucking jump. Bro, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. Don't mess with her. She's got MRI. See right through you. Give her the truth. Meals ready to eat? Oh, that's not what that <laughs> MRE You're wasting my time. Okay, uh... The girl. What was her gripe? Why don't you ask her? Might still be around, sniveling in a corner. Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? <laughs> Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells, t -Buck. Multiple bells ringing, V. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. They knew the risks. All sorts of shit happens. To all sorts of people. Even to the best. To you too, Rogue. Arasaka Tower. Remember? Who'd you lose back then? Johnny something? Ah. You came prepped. Of course. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Okay, should I ask if I don't have the cash? I'm fine to just pay her. Should be enough. Mm-hmm. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk. Okay, ghost town. Wait until Rogue is ready. Okay. She said that that girl might still be sniveling in a corner. So, I mean, she walked over here. I can go see if she is still there. Get you anything? Wait, was she at the bar? Let's just Could see what she has to drink. Go for a drink. 
tough day. Like any other. So, what'll it be? Do I see a Jackie Wells? I don't see anything for free. Oh, here! Jackie Wells, $3. Reduces movement speed by 10. Okay, just makes you drink. A shot of vodka, lime juice, ginger beer, and most importantly, a splash of love. I like I liked the way he said that a lot. All right. Uh, it wasn't her, right? I remember her looking pretty cool. Can't talk to him. Oh, there's a police officer here. No one here. No one here. No, no, I am just fine. Thanks. Okay, she seemed really sad. Something's wrong. Okay, having fun. Is it you? Dang it. I feel like I should have been able to talk to her, so that's really throwing me for a loop here. Okay, what do I want to do next? Decide whether to intervene. Oh, that's the fist fight I have to get into. Go to the Rainbow Cadenza Club. Don't think I've gone all sentimental or anything. Honestly, I couldn't give a shit if I've got any fans left in the city. Oh, okay. I like, I'm really low in my chair. Can I like tilt? <laughs> Frick. Johnny Silverhand. We, in exploring, we ran into a guitar player and he got all sentimental listening to the guitar man play, listening to Johnny guitar. And he gave us this mission to, and I think that it's part of his side quests. This is something that I do want to go do um, and maybe just kind of tick them off one by one or something. Uh, don't think I've gone all sentimental or anything. Honestly, I couldn't give a shit. If I've got any fans left in this city, if someone hears one of my tracks and they get an itch to take to the streets, then that's freaking Nova. But those old recordings don't matter anymore. Find him, listen to him, I don't care. Although, while you're on the subject, wondering how things are going over at the Rainbow Cadenza. That sounds like a lovely thing to do. But also... I, I feel like I tend to play kind of sporadically. And I don't know if I should just like finish out some sort of quest before I do this. So we're going to um, Japantown. That would be good because I think automatic lo love or automatic heart is in this area too. So we'll head over there, pick up Johnny's first recording and then Try and get a little further in automatic love. Um, Johnny? Pretty sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. <laughs> Point for the other team. Huh. <laughs> huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're going to wow. see everything they fought for is turned to shit. Maybe you are in shit. Johnny is not very likable. He see I get that he's like a rock star, but I, I don't know. I'm starting to question all of his motives for everything in life. If it wasn't just like some sort of self-driven, egotistical bullshit. Also, I couldn't stop looking at this image. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's so gross. Okay. Uh, what happened to the rainbow cadenza? Hey. Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh no, another one. Aren't you too young for this? To what now? Every day some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his old rainbow club. And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the corp brought them out 20 years ago. I should put up a sign. And Sartre and you say, Maisel picking up on Johnny very early there. Yeah, I want to like him so much. I really want to like Johnny. But so far he... It seems like I'm supposed to like him. And our 
relationship is supposed to be like, haha, funny banter between two people who kind of are at odds with each other, but I don't know, he just kind of seems like a dick. And Mac, you say, looks like they have good noodles though. Yeah, this place looks dope. I mean, I guess it's a corporate run chain, but for a corporate run chain, it seems to have a little character. This guy should, certainly has character. Know anything about bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, don't know, samurai stuff? Samurai. Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him? You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. Preem. Thanks. Hey. Alright, talk to the cook. Oh, I can talk to her too. Been a nice oh, just for food. Home. Long enough to know I should not answer seemingly harmless questions. Eat, pay, and be on your way. Oh, okay. Snap. I guess I could be a threat. I imagine I look pretty scary. Oh. Oh my gosh! I saw this guy earlier and I was like, oh my gosh, I bet that he knows something about Johnny. Heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian duelists, Urdine stuff, Tainted Overlord. Huh. Any samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. <laughs> Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. Oh, he's so enthusiastic, I love it. See, I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Oh, I wish Today's Johnny was standing right next to us, but we just have that. Silverhand had something they couldn't even dream of. Uh, Silverhand? He had that fire, kid. Fire! Guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blade okay, way down the I, don't, rebel I don't know if we need to argue with this guy. Yeah, looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs? Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first gunk off the street. Can you make a nut? I don't understand. I thought that pirating is infinite. Would the first gonk off the street know what they tell new Arasaka suits? Wait, what? They say, if a collar in training doesn't make deadline, the ghost of a man split in two will get him. Of course, nobody remembers the ghost is Johnny. All right, I'm impressed. Getting someone from Saka to tell you that. You're not joking. You're really a Silverhand fan. Okay. Johnny's always with me, or I could say the cool thing. When the other kids were learning chrome crayons, I already had chipping in down by heart. <laughs> well said, kid. Getting a little misty-eyed. You're all right. <laughs> hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Gone. Have at it. Okay, you want me to... Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. This is the quest item. So we'll take that. Much appreciated. Take so it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to Corpos. Hell yeah. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. Yeah, what Not the hell? Not to meet him? Blue Socket Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. Oh. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut. It's not about stuck him, it's about past. you. Want them to change. Them and the world. 
Okay, some things must have changed. You can't change people by blowing them up. I would agree with Let's that. Let's get out of here. You want to force them to change? Can't just blow them up like the tower. But music's the answer? Here's what happens. Grandpa knows every damn word. I didn't say Doesn't that. Doesn't understand a single one. You'd rather massacre a bunch of people then? And the average Janes and Joes? Maybe they don't want to change. Their choice. You want to take that away from them? They might be bums who play see no evil. Might be blind idiots. They need to wake the fuck up. Guess jury's still out on how. Yeah, I... Basically everything he says I think is a bunch of trash. <laughs> like, that's so rude. It's easy for someone like him to say that, who's found success and ways to change the world and make an impact. Like, who is this man? Just somebody who's tried to work his whole life to make a buck? You expect him to do something as crazy as what Johnny did? It doesn't make any sense. And the fact that he's blind to that is so stupid. Honest to gosh. His comments there really irked me. I'll say that. They really... I mean, he's allowed to have his opinion, but by gosh, it's a stupid one. <laughs> Alright. Now what do we want to do next? We can... Oh yeah! Atomic love. Oh my gosh. Atomic love. That's another fallout thing. <laughs> Automatic love. Take the elevator to clouds. I think that's pretty close by. 125 meters. Not far you? at all. Oh, a tiger claw. Okay. That makes sense. The tiger claws probably have a hand in whatever place that we're going to. Take the elevator to clouds. Spunky monkeys. <laughs> Way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. Wait, can you do that hand motion again? What the hell was that? What have I missed this time? Don't Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Oh, I just said that out loud. Uh, someone's in a great mood. Probably because I just, I don't know, shamed him for his decisions in life. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brain dead chick drags me around a cat house on a wild whore chase. So having a grand old time. I thought you'd be into that kind of thing. Arasaka and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Oh, a euphemism. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang. Suits collars and gets soiled. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially... Oh. Oh my gosh! Really? We were in the middle of a conversation. I just turn away and he's gone? I have to look at him? <sighs> okay. Lesson learned. I will never do that again. Dang it! And, and that's cheating. That's infidelity. Uh, no. Well, Wait, <laughs> what did I say? How's that any different from some dollhouse ass? Cause the ass is meat, not latex. That's so hard to understand. Meat, right? No feeling going on, no thinking, no awareness. Okay. Sensing. Might as well be latex. <laughs> An interesting debate that no doubt we'll all be having in the future. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? How does this work? So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, Wait. I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. 
One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest piqued. How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire? We find it. You'll have your needs fulfilled. And maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. Okay, I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. Looking for an Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. I kind of wish that I didn't bob up and down when I stand still. Evelyn's I... not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her? I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Check in, please. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Oh, there you are. Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Okay, what Meaning? do you mean by that? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. Okay, shit, I have to sneak around. <laughs> oh God, I guess I'll jack in. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. What? If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Oh, do I see? Oh. Sky or angel? Um, how do I pick? Two matches. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> is that normal or? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Um. Oh crap, I forgot who's who. I think Sky is the girl. Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment. Well, technically you'll the venture computer into chose. the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. That it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Okay, I think we just did it automatically. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. won't find any use you. for weapons inside. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. I didn't pick that one out. Uh, okay. So now, deposit weapons. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay. Okay. Now, I have to... Is there... Correct me if I'm wrong. Is there like a katana or something that I can get here? Who are you? Oh, Tiger Claw? I thought maybe there was like a... Guess that makes you a real deviant. What? Why? Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna get us in trouble if I'm just wandering around. Here. Let's do this first. They'll say I left when they said no weapons as 
as a hacker, I am the weapon. You fools! Join the doll in the booth. Okay, that's our objective, so I guess I will object. Wait, that's wrong. I will do the thing that they are saying to do. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Skye. And you must be... Valerie? What? I thought, I thought my name was something else. Uh... It's just V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> She's like, V. Yeah, okay. Can you sit now? Well, looks like this will be interesting. So, V, you're dying. What? How does she know that? Save her! Samurai! Samurai! I'm looking for a girl. Hey. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Me. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. Asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? Oh. I can smell your fear. What the fuck? You're afraid of something else. Uh... Samurai. Samurai. Silent. This Why? is what fulfilling my deepest desires looks like? Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a debate. Why'd the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything? Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. You just gonna talk in circles, that it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. Oh, what's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. Okay, this is what fulfilling my deepest... Let's ask what, what am I afraid of? Think you know me well. Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Okay, that's Everybody's like entitled to secrets. A generic Got response. Got my own with good reason too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. I snuffed it once, and I'm gonna do it all over again. Got no idea how to stop it. There. Happy. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? I don't like this. Still want to be the best. And no one ever was. <laughs> Pure fantasy, that. Wasn't so long ago I really wanted that. But then all this shit happened. Seems like I was living in dreamland. I just want the world to know I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased. As if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different. Hey. Wow, okay, me. this first response intrigues me, so I'm gonna say that. The people I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change, that thought alone could save your life. And any I'm for your thoughts? Of becoming someone else. Forgetting who I am. You're already becoming someone else. Every second of every day. Still, I feel oh, that's true a for connection all of us. between who I was and who I'm turning into. What you really fear? is becoming someone you don't recognize in the least. Uh, so what now? <sighs> so what now? Now, you find out what it is you need to do. Which is? You gonna tell me? What? 
Is she a fortune Never teller? Back down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should have. You go through Night <laughs> City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. Oh, I'm not sure I can manage. Oh my goodness. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Well, our only other option is the safe word, so... Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do, but everything has its end. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Oh, God! Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Oh my goodness. Okay, that was that's disturbing. Psychiatrist in 2077. Ghost okay. now, or I'll call security. Um. Gotta say, that wasn't what I expected. I was hoping for thrills, not some gloomy, soul-searching debate. Look, baby, I don't decide what happens in here. Your subconscious drives everything. <laughs> Next time, remind me to tell my subconscious to go fuck itself. Um, just don't tell anyone about this, okay? I came here to talk to you, Sky, not some soppy algorithm. Evelyn Parker, what do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. What is she saying? Um... You're good looking? It'd be a shame to lose that? I need your help, please. If you're done here, you should go. I feel like paying her is probably gonna be the most helpful in this situation. I need this info. Name your price. Fuck you. Your Eddie's and that girl of yours. Damn it. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. All right, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. Uh... Wait, is it 900 for ev every time I talk to her? Uh, I don't know. First, tell me what you know about Evelyn. Fine. <laughs> shit. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. What? Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody'd care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. And, uh, customer attacker? A customer attacked her? I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing, keeping your head down. And where did it happen? Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Can I just stand there or tell me a number? Eleven. This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since, um... Need to get inside that booth somehow. 
Yeah, and do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think? An XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turned out to be useful after all. Wow. <laughs> Thank you guys for all of those funny moments during this. Oh my gosh, my face was getting so hot. Because I thought something like was going to happen there, but I guess that's that's what that's all our subconscious wanted. Okay. I assume that I can just walk around. Oh shit. I I have to do this now. I have to go in here. Get inside the VIP area. Oh, I thought that the VIP area is up here. Can I talk to you? No. Authorization not found. All right. I wonder if this guy's gonna come in here and if I can throw him into the garbage. Do I see anything? Shit. Oh. Okay, there's one man. Oh, good gracious. Just, uh... God, he sounds terrible. Card approved. Dump! Sorry, I kind of just want to get out of here. <laughs> Let's connect after I get some money. Uh, okay. 55... E... 9... Okay. So we would have to do BD fifty five E nine fifty five. Okay. Oops. Oh shit! I can't get in there. Um. Oh, there's an elevator here. I said I just wanted to get out of here, but now I guess I don't. I really hope that that meaty boy out there doesn't see me. I guess we're safe now. We might as well try to get in here, too. Uh, here. Jack in. Oh, shit! Oh, I thought that guy was going to come in here. He's just standing by the door now. So I can't jack in? I thought I thought I needed to crack a code, but maybe not. Let's just close that. Hide our evidence. Do they know? Do they just automatically know? Access granted. Okay. Get inside Evelyn's booth is optional. Did I... Wait a sec. This is 13, 14. I think 11 is on this floor. Here's 10. Did I walk past it again? Oh no, it's here. Let's take a look, shall we? Okay, we can just walk in here. Blood. Fresh, not too much. 
Put it to a wound rather than a kill. So this like just happened to her? And then find Tom. Let's see, what else do we have to look at here? See that? See what? Nothing there. Exactly. Should be a port right there for the doll to jack into. They rip it out? Wonder why. Hmm, maybe it can tell them more information or something? What about this? Hmm, what's this? Oh! Oh, I've seen this before. The NCPD has, like, they replay, they can have a, a way to replay crimes or something. Oh no, something's going on. Did she hurt him? Or what happened? Well, client wasn't the one who flew off the handle. Something bit her in the ass. I, okay, Johnny. What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? I guess? Maybe. Can't be sure. Could be a remote hack? Yeah, could Sounds be. crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. A netrunner? Oh, a netrunner. Weird. We haven't run into any netrunners yet, and I... Is this something? Oh no, it's Johnny's cigarette. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, we can play it again, I guess. And I think that's everything that is available to us. Something under the bed? No, that's Johnny's cigarette. I think I can just walk in here, right? He doesn't care? Cool. <laughs> I wonder if... Gosh. Okay, where's the cameras? Find Tom. What will you have? <laughs> Anything. Whatever stands to fuck me up the Oh, here's a camera. More like hard life. And there's another one, but I can't see where it is. We'll turn off this. And that man's eyebrows are crazy. Uh, things always this quiet? Oh, God, what the hell? You're not gonna clean that up? This place always this dead. Thought I heard a tumbleweed roll by. Wow, for I'm you. rude. Lively for others. For me, just right. What can I get you? Um, I don't think I need anything. Can I put my fists away so we can hack this? Oh, turn on. Okay, we've already turned that on. Off. What? The foodie guide to Night City? The world traveler in Night City is faced with a dilemma. Enjoy the local cuisine or save their gut the trouble. Oh, dang. If you don't own a trauma team policy, you're probably better off sticking to the <laughs> tried and tested chains and exclusive restaurants. But if you do, Night City is full of risk that packs a lot of reward. Here's our risk reward breakdown for Night City's good eats. For the conscious consumer, blue, a gourmet dining experience with some of the highest accolades and richest portfolios in the city. If you are after high quality, locally sourced ingredients, what, what could we possibly source locally here? Do you think there's like farm mega buildings? Or I don't know, maybe you could harvest cactus plants or something? Oh, authentic caviar, oysters, and imported Prosecco. The alabaster white interior adorned with minimalist decor is perfect for a relaxing night out following a day of hustle and bustle. I wonder if we can actually go here. Pepper and Spice, a unique local on the, or locale, on the culinary map of Night City. This eatery was founded by renowned tavern icon, Tony Hellick. It stands apart from the competition thanks to its diverse menu of transcontinental fusion dishes, most of which are offered at a surprisingly reasonable price. Caribbean, Polish, Kenyan, it's all there. 
not just not in the combination you've ever seen before. I don't know that I've really ever had Polish food. I'm sure that it's quite good. Um, I think I've had Caribbean before, but I'm not sure about Kenyan either. The crowd favorite? Helix own vanilla dumplings? Okay, sweet, savory? That sounds pretty good, right? For the gutsy gourmet, buck a slice. According to urban legend, the NCPD has an entire file on the mysterious deaths of homeless people whose last meal was pizza from buck a slice? True or not, so they, the pizza is just deadly to people without homes? Seems like that man could be a murderer, the owner of that restaurant, only if you want a greasy slice of authentic Night City flavor. Plus their secret recipe, chill spurt scopperoni, is unlike anything you've ever tasted, but only available on special request. Rue Lai, uh, you'll find all of the three Ps, potent, punchy, and pugnant. Every visit to this local favorite is like playing a game of Chinese roulette. Regulars at Ru Lai, sorry if I'm saying it really, really poorly, claim you're just as likely to get bearable egg rolls and halfway decent rangoons as you are tainted tofu or Szechuan salmonella. You've been warned. What the hell? This must be a satirical piece. I did not realize that maybe this is based on real life. Okay, so I gotta find Tom. Is that you, sir? I can't get close enough to him to ask. Not a smidge. I assume that Tom is male. Here. Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure. Uh, I don't have your details. Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Uh, I'm not a customer. Sure. Relax. You don't need any data, don't need any deeds. I'm not a customer. Here to talk. To you, specifically. Not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. Need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. Mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. A new faceplate? Um... Osaka or Oslo? Which was it? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. Okay. Are you her friend? Uh, well, he's probably trying to conceal the truth to keep us from finding her in case we're bad. That accident involved a client, did it? Found blood in her booth. Uh, you know, shit like that happens here sometimes. And everyone's cool with that. We get new implants, recovery leave, and, well, sometimes even a payout. Now that I think about it, it is weird she went away so far. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this Woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. Oh shit, I think I'm gonna have to go back there. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest, but everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then, what's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. He doesn't seem so bad. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. All right, did I finish talking to you? I guess so. Oh, I have a cool proposition? Oh no. We've already said that to him. So, I guess oh, we'll I just... Of course I'm in, in, in my capacity. <laughs> yeah, I have that bike. I know where to... Okay, there's definitely a camera. Uh-huh. 
somewhere. But I think uh -huh. the katana is maybe there. I don't know. Shit. I don't know. Maybe it's in his office. Okay, let's just go here. Use technical ability. I oh, don't yeah, have good. that. Or Got some new hardware. Force <laughs> open. I wonder if I have any points to spare. Ah, I do. Haha. <laughs> nice. Whispers hack the planet. Motorcycle, not motor. A washing machine has a motor. Uh, can we? Uh. I'm just gonna sneak around for a little bit. Dang it. Oops. I'm just gonna force the door open. Uh huh. Path of least resistance. Mm. Finally! <laughs> Real action! Okay. Well, breaking doors is kind of loud, it seems. Oh. I thought it was kind of quiet. Or find another path, or take him out silently, or get spotted yeah, and kill okay. everything. Got some new hardware. <laughs> I wonder if maybe I what now a have cycle, a weapon. A washing machine has a Because if I have a weapon now, I would kill everybody. Let's see. Okay, we do have a weapon now. Cool. <laughs> Wait, not this one though. I want to use the epic one. Uh, Smokey, say violence is never the answer, but uh, quite often the solution. Mm -hmm. Certainly in video games, I would say. It does seem mm. that they set it up like that. Okay, it's fine. I'll try sneaking around. Just so that I'm not a quitter, but... Okay, we got a transfer here. Have you ever heard of Jotaro Shobo? He's one of the T-Claws. Yeah, I've heard. There's someone in that psycho. booth. Likes to hurt people. The mocks have him on their blacklist. Some girls marked him for death. And that's all pudding, honey. But so what? Assos like Shobo have been on my blacklist before I heard of him. The mocks blacklist is more powerful. It actually means something. I'll believe it when I see his rotting, stinking corpse. <laughs> Amen to that. Okay. Oh, a Tonto? Shall we jump in? Okay. New area in clouds. Okay. I feel like he's gonna stop talking to the guy as soon as I go in here and he's gonna start walking in. Hey, no clients allowed in here. No clients allowed in here. As you can see. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I need to change something really quick. So I'm having an issue where skip dialogue and crouch are the same thing. Let's change this to this. And then for skip dialogue, I really never want to do that. So I'm just going to have a BK. What? How is K already an assigned thing? How, do, how is anyone's fingers even over there ever? Now I'm not mad anymore. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over at Booth too. 
Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. Uh, I don't think you understand, sir. You look like a reasonable man. Let's make a deal. Look to me like a reasonable man. I think we can work something out. And you he looks look like to a piece me of like shit, a but... psycho bitch who's never been ghosted by her bill or bow before. But go on. I'm listening. Oh, man. Would that line have been different if I was a man? <laughs> like, what do you just spend of like, what do you just spend of like, oh, yeah, I totally agree with you. But because I'm a woman, he's like, have some sort of bitter weird thing going on in his brain. Oh, Hunter, you say, not much difference. He still tells you to F off uh, if you're a man. Oh, okay. You sit here in this dank hole you probably call your office and Oof. think you've got it made, don't you? Congrats. You read minds better than our own fucking AI. Someone get this girl a job. Ever stop to think who's behind the tiger claw puppets you call your bosses? Tiger Claw bosses have got their own bosses, in case you didn't know. You're just too small to see them. <laughs> oh, because you're such a big shot. Let's just say, a certain member of the Arasaka clan wouldn't be pleased if he knew something bad happened to Evelyn, and that you're the one responsible. All right, fine. I'll lay it on you straight. Girl you're looking for, Parker? She ain't here. Tell me something I don't know. Like, where is she? Think you know how things work around here. But you don't know shit. So tell me. Dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their job's to generate profit. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh, so... Ooh. Evelyn stopped pulling profit. No denying that, sadly for her. Saw what she did to the client. She gets spiked or something. Whatever or whoever fried her circuits, it came from outside our subnet. They played their deck like a virtuoso. Her chip was fucking rot. Believe you me, we tried to fix it. Didn't even come close. Oh no, so is she ever, will she be safe? I, I mean, will she ever be the same? Dolls often malfunction? Okay, it kind of sounds like that could happen again and I could help you stop that from happening again. They common, these kind of accidents? Ever use tech that never broke? Didn't think so. Behavioral chip splits you right down the middle. Some people plain lose their minds. And for everyone that does, there's a dozen in line to replace them. This you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed what? her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Yeah, said he knew something or other. You invested your own eddies to help poor, unprofitable Evelyn? <laughs> Please. <laughs> you got me. Ripper's the one who paid me. For a broken doll. People got all kinds of kinks. Trust me. I know, considering where I work. Fingers is a real specimen, though. Got all the fetishes. Even the ones you've never heard of. I'm sure he found her a nice niche. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you have to laugh? Did you have to laugh too? Dude, like, you seem gross. I guess he doesn't care at all, which is crazy that someone could be so, uh, just not care at all. You took her to the Ripper instead of following orders. Didn't take you for someone with balls. For fuck's sake, I'm not running a slaughterhouse here. Only recycle as a last resort. And family always gets a call. If there is any. Think there are any daddies out there willing to change the diapers of a brain-dead little slut on the verge of cyberpsychosis? Probably not. 
Casting him out on the street ain't an option either. Can't risk tanking our crit. You're repulsive better than a... I don't know. <gasps> Anything's better than a bullet to the brain. <laughs> you know, that's what every doll says. I'm starting to like you. You looking for work by any chance? Af what? After you just told me that you might kill me if I don't bring in Eddie's? Very strange. This man, very strange. The Ripper. Name and address. Don't know a last name. Don't fuck with me. Isn't his name Fingers? I'm not. <laughs> Goes by Fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. I do want to find Don't Evelyn. come back here. Ever. Eva. While you're at it, take the elevator. Quicker you're out of here, the better. Chad, Do I have to? Uh, I guess I should have just killed everybody. God damn it. All right. Dog well. fingers on Jig Jig Street. Sounds like a co-ed's wet dream. Oh, and then leave. Oh, he's just standing there, so I can't. Oh, I want to ask you one more thing. Evelyn's still with this fingers creep. Do I look like his secretary? How'd she look to you last time you saw her? You weren't listening. Do you think I should Told just murder everyone now? Now get out! I'm kind of tempted to. I don't really want to murder like the people who work here, but. I really thought that there's uh, some kind of secret weapon or something here. And I don't want to lose out on it. Left Evelyn's handbag! Could have had more than one. All her shit's in it, though. Must have left in a hurry. Well, yeah, we know the story now, so that dialogue doesn't really make a lot of sense now, does it? Okay, let me just quick save. Oh, I see. Of course I'm in. In, in what capacity? <laughs> yeah, I have that bike. I know where to... Okay, sorry, I just wanted to murder a little bit before we leave. <laughs> Tiger Claw's moonlight is peeping Tom's. Always got eyes on their dolls. Know what goes on in these booths. Then, data mine the behavioral chips. Saw that twist coming a mile away. Had a hunch. Same. Still, wonder if it's for their own use or for sale. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Buying. Booth 11. Uh, okay, we don't really learn anything though. Local network. Connected eight devices. Turn off. Remote takeover. Oh, I don't. Uh, huh? What am I looking at here? Oh, I could- I could be a peeping Tom? Oh, goodness gracious. I guess not. I guess we can't look into the booths, which is fine by me. Uh, can I just turn it off? There. Offline the surveillance system. Well, that's good. Let's just save here. And then can I dump the body somewhere? I don't think so. Okay, we could just leave or oh, I see. Of course I'm in in, in what capacity. <laughs> yeah, I have that bike. I know where it. Mm. Mm. I wonder how I can take him out. Oops. I just want to explore this room. <sighs> okay, we'll 
take this. Oh, there's stuff, something on his body. Access card? Oh, what did we, what did we need to get access for? I, I don't recall. Okay, so now do I have to make it down to the first floor to get my stuff back? I think that there's an elevator that will take me down to the first floor and then I assume that I can walk out. We'll just see if I can take the elevator, I guess. And then... Okay, here's where we murdered that guy. Did we go down this way already? Oh. <laughs> that guy's behind the, that door, so I don't want to do that. Uh, anything this way? Here's an exit. I don't really know what that... Oh, there's that dude again. I don't know. I guess I'll just see if I can walk back downstairs. If I can't, that's okay, I guess. I'll just quick save here. Thanks for watching. If you had fun and want to see me again, consider subscribing or joining one of my other social medias like Twitch, Discord, or Twitter. Until next time, Choom.